Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. This is a more calm Julie. <laughs> I took on board all of your comments underneath one of my vlog embers and I have to say that I am really touched by all of your concern. I know that I seemed really stressed out and rushed at times and I'm not going to lie, I was, but don't worry, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm keeping on top of things. Life is always crazy this time of year when you're running your own business right before christmas q4 is mental yesterday alone and i think i'll probably talk about this later as well but yesterday alone i did 46 parcels so i was parceling them up on the sunday to take out on the monday and then yesterday look at this i did all these i've also got one on the stairs so these are the day after the weekend. These were just from Monday. It's now Tuesday. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, please ignore the mess in the kitchen. I have tried to tidy up. Oh man. Anyway, Dexter has just gone to school with Rob. And yeah, let's get into the video. Let's see what today brings. Anyway, as always, if you enjoy my video, consider giving me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Why not? It's free. And, you know, you can always leave if you want to, but don't. You can always come back as well. <laughs> it's always good to take a break. I think sometimes it's normal to take a break from people. <laughs> but you don't have to unsubscribe, actually. You could just, you know, just not watch my videos for a bit and then catch up later. <laughs> Oh man, anyway, at this current point, I only have three of my own parcels to do besides those. And I've got one, no, I haven't. I've got Rob's to do. I think Rob's got about six or seven. His eBay was going mad last night. He's put all his prices down as I have with my clothes. He has done it with all his old stuff and it's all flying out, which is amazing. So that is what we want. Anyway, guys, let's get into it. Here's some more sales to show you all. Look at all this. It's crazy at the minute. Um, I am going to show you Rob's sales as well. Um, they may not be as exciting as mine, but I will show you them because I haven't been showing them in Vlogham because I haven't had time. Doing a video every single day takes its toll. But yeah, I have sold all these and I'm going to show you what Rob has sold. So first of all, we're going to go over here to this lovely jewellery box. This has gone on Etsy for £35. So um, it's going to the USA. So after fees and what I paid and everything, I have made about £27 on that because I got postage paid for as well um, by the buyer. So yeah, happy with that. Jewellery boxes are flying out at the minute. I'm really, really pleased with how well they are going. Um, okay, let's go over here. Fenrite Manson Coat, this is literally just sold. So this has gone for £10. <laughs> yeah, I am getting rid of all my clothes cheap at the minute. I am being ruthless with my prices and getting rid of stuff because I just don't want it anymore. Um, to be honest, um, I don't do well with clothing anymore. There's too many people out there doing the same stuff. So it's hard to sell stuff. Um, for me, it is anyway. I do much better on the bric-a-brac and things and I enjoy it much more. So I am being cutthroat with my prices. So if you are a reseller and you fancy getting some bargains, pop on over to my eBay because my, my clothes are cheap. And let's face it, I will accept offers on things, especially if you buy multiple items. It is free postage as well, I will add. So I will be um, obviously passing them all up together. This went for £10, so after fees and everything, I've made about £2 on that. I've got this T... What is it? TFNC dress, brand new with tags. This is lovely. This has gone for £13, so after fees and everything coming off i've made about four pound on that and um, not a great deal especially with it being new with tags 
Okay, next, we've got a pair of Ugg boots here. I'm not gonna get these out. You know what Ugg boots look like. Um, these are a pair of leather black Ugg boots in a size three and a half. So these ones are even smaller than the ones I've been selling recently. 30 pound I got for those. So after fees and what I paid and everything, I have made about 20 pound on them. I've sold this lovely green satin tablecloth, which is, is vintage from the 70s, 80s. I've sold this before. And I think it came back. It either came back or they cancelled the order. I can't remember. Anyway, this has gone for £19.15. So after fees and what I paid and everything, I've made about £15 on that. So happy with that. These two little glasses here, these are lovely. They have um, like gold berries and stuff on the side of them. They have gone for £12. So after fees and what I paid, I've made about £6 on those these flew out i couldn't believe how quick these went this is six vintage fox hunting glasses shot glasses with like white etched glass they've got foxes on they've got um horses with riders on them as well the six of them they are gorgeous um i got these from leslie so again massive shout out to leslie and thank you for being such a massive supporter of my channel um i got 15 pound for these so after fees and everything, I have made about £11 on those. I've sold this lovely gingerbread man. He is a pot puree um, fragranced gingerbread man for Christmas. He's gone for £10. So after fees and everything, I've made about £6 on him. I have sold this camera. It's a Panasonic Lumix DMC FX30 compact mega camera. Um... It is a mega, hang on, I'm going to tell you the full title. It's a mega OIS 28mm wide, um, I think that's Leica, Leica, I don't know. It doesn't have a battery. This is why it hasn't gone for a lot of money. This has gone for £10. So after fees and what I paid, I have made about £6 on that. Airbed, which is underneath this lovely dress, which I'll show you in a minute. This is an original aero bed. It's a single inflatable bed. It is amazing. It actually inflates and deflates through an electric like pump. It's so cool. Um, I've had it up, obviously, and took it down. Why I haven't um, bought an airbed like this before, I don't know. I think they're amazing. Anyway, it went for £40. So after fees and everything, what I've paid, I've made £30 on that. Um, right, Ikea lamp, this lovely lamp here. I got this from a tabletop sale in the summer holidays. This has gone for £40. So after fees and everything, I've made about £32 on that. I have sold this lovely, handsome action man. Hello, dear. Um, he is in green and black. He's got his boots. Um, he was part of a bundle, but the guy messaged me and basically said, can I just buy him for £10? So I was like, yeah, sure. So I've relisted the other one. Um, so after fees and everything, I've made about eight. No, I haven't made £8 on him, Julie, for goodness sake. I have made £6 on him. Um, yeah, ignore my maths. It's terrible. The first to go of the My Little Pony um, Lullaby Nursery Bundle is this little vintage generation 180s newborn baby dibbles i wanted to say dribbles but it's dibbles um she has gone for 13 pound so as of now i am still in the red with that bundle because i paid 30 for it so we won't go into that right now um burden dress this will make you all laugh so i'm in the red with this by about five pound um yeah i mean i'm in debt for this dress by about five pound I've sold it for £8.50. Um, I probably paid £8 to £9 for this when I bought it. It was worth it then. Now it is not. So, yeah, I am in the red with this one. I've lost money. But I haven't. Let me explain. So, what I used to do is buy massive bundles of stuff from shops. I'd go into... This was from my local mind when it was open and I literally used to go in there and buy about 20 items so with the items I bought that day I am in profit quite a bit of profit but for this singular I'm not but I still haven't lost because of that reason <laughs> I hope you understand what I mean let me know in the comments if you think I'm talking gibberish but yeah um 
as I said, getting rid of the clothes and being ruthless. I have sold this bundle of 13 modern and vintage Mattel Barbie dolls. She's a bit rude, isn't she? Dear Lord. Um, I have dressed these myself. <laughs> as you can probably tell. Um, she, her clothes are just falling off her. I mean, it's terrible. But yeah, um, I've put all in the wrong clothes. They're all dressed, but no original outfits. Anyway, they've gone for £20. So after fees and what I paid, I have made about £5 on this bundle. Not bad, really. I mean, these were a load of Barbies that I just wanted to bundle up and get rid of, basically. So again, I'm being ruthless, people. I'm being ruthless. And I've got the Christmas spirit. It's coming towards Christmas and I want to give people good deals. Uh, so yeah, that is all to show you right now. One thing I do want to clear up though, while while I'm on here, I'm not showing you my face right now because I've got no makeup on. I'm in my jammers and my hair is all over. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I I said on my, it wasn't my last video, but on Vlog Ember, I was quoted as saying, um, that you can't sell new with tag things on Vinted. Well, that is clearly untrue because number one, I've sold new with tag stuff on Vinted. Um, number two, did I say number one then? <laughs> I don't even know. Anyway, number two, we'll go with it. Um, there is an option to sell new with tags. The reason I said that, I didn't mean to say you can't sell new with tags. And I don't even know whether I did say those words um, or whether it's been interpreted wrong. But the reason I said that is because I've heard horror stories from other people because you're not supposed to sell on Vinted if you're a business seller. And if you sell a lot of new with tags, your account can be flagged up and you can get it shut down. So I don't like to do it is what I should have said. I don't like to do it because I don't want my account to be shut down. Um, what if there is ever a pro account introduced, I'll be going straight onto that because I do things the right way. Um, I do put all my vintage sales through my books. So yeah, I just wanted to make that clear that you can sell new with tags on there. And I know a lot of people that watch my channel just do eBay as a hobby. So you would be fine. If you're not buying things to sell and you're just selling your own stuff, you can sell new with tag stuff all day long on there because you aren't going to have masses. But for instance, I have um, a bundle of Joe Brown's dresses. Well, not a bundle, but I've got a few Joe Brown's dresses. New with tags are all different sizes. I wouldn't put them on because that is clearly me selling stuff that doesn't belong to me and um you know I'm doing it for profit aren't I if I'm selling a load of different sizes in the same dress so I wouldn't necessarily do that you've just got to be careful I mean if my vintage got shut down you know it gets shut down there's nothing I can do about it I'm not bothered but what I'm saying is that is why I said that it wasn't a case of you can't sell new with tags because you can. And obviously I did. So I just wanted to clear that up, guys. I have talked about it on my group. Um, a lot of people got confused about it and were basically saying that I was wrong. And yeah, I make mistakes. Shoot me, you know. <laughs> I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. I never claim to be. And um, I'm just taking you along my journey with all this lovely stock that now I have to parcel up. <laughs> Send help. Send help now. Oh yeah, I haven't even showed you Rob's stuff yet, have I? See, I get on a tangent with something and I just completely forget what I'm doing. So I'm going to probably... <sighs> I don't even know what to do. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to move all this because, you know... That'd be good. And then I'm going to put Rob's stuff on here. Um, as usual, I've had a customer asking me if I would post something out tomorrow if she bought it today. And I've got it out. So the curse of the unpaid item or unbought item is going to happen, I reckon. Although the last time I said that, I did get something out that was unpaid. And it was a day before they paid, but they did pay. So the curse... <laughs> Do any of you ever do that? Do you get an item paid and bought that hasn't been paid for, but you get it out anyway and then it doesn't get paid? Or is it just me? Is it just me being weird? Do these things only happen to me? That is what I want to know. <laughs> right, I need to get some work done. I am um, proper procrastinating right now, aren't I? 
and I should have done a better job of dressing this poor girl. She'll catch her death. <laughs> right, I nearly um, went into Mumma Do The Hump then because just before I started to record, my eBay sound went off on my phone. <laughs> I love that sound. I love that sound. Anyway, um, Rob is very rudely making a cup of tea in the background. I do apologise. He's very rude. Um, I'm going to show his sales now, which he should be doing really. He should get some frigging work done. Some but there rules. you go. <laughs> Umbra jumper. That has gone for £7. It mm -hmm. is a double XL um, retro Y2K sweater. After fees and everything, we've made about £2 on that. Which is that? Seven, yeah. Um, we've got this Thrasher magazine skateboarding t-shirt that went for six ninety nine. So after fees and everything, we've probably made about two pound on that as well. Nice, that with a good sales first. <laughs> yeah, well, we're getting rid of stuff, guys. I've told you. Um, Gas Monkey t-shirt, extra large. That's gone for six pounds. So you've guessed it. <laughs> we've made about two pound on that as well. And um, Rob's phone is deciding to do things by itself. Right, okay. Two woolly hats. We've got a Vans hat and a Timberland hat. One size fits all. These have gone for £10. So after fees and everything, we've made about £4 on them. Um, clock over here. This is a clock that we bought and I was going to list, but it doesn't work. Um, so that has gone for £20 for spares and repairs. So after fees and everything, we've made about £16 on that. And that was something that I was going to chuck out. So, you know, Rob decided he was going to list that and he was very happy with that price. We have a Adidas red football shirt um, FC by Munich. This has gone for £11.50. So, uh, noise, guys, noise. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, after fees and everything, this is family life for you. This is why I can't bring as many videos to you as I want this month because it's crazy. Um, yeah, the boy's having his quavers. Anyway, eleven fifty for that. That means we've made about six on that one. We've got an Orvis jacket here, which obviously isn't it. It's in the purple bag. Um, it's just a beige jacket, extra large. That went for 25 So I believe, have we made our money back on that bundle? That was in that big Orvis bag bundle. Yeah, there. so that, basically, apart from fees and postage, we've made our money back. So we will have made about 20 on that. We have some Farrah trousers here. Um, they went for £8. So after fees and everything, we have made about £4 on those. Over here again, sorry about swinging you around guys, um, I have a CD here, that went for £12, so after fees and everything, we have made about £8 on that. Back over here, we have a Scopes coat, this is wool and cashmere XXL, that went for £57. So after fees and everything on that, we have made about £48, so that is a much better sale. Then over here, I'm going slowly. This Prada, pair of Prada shoes. Um, these are nice, yeah. They have some um, issues inside. They're a little bit on the worn side. So they've gone for £35. So after fees and what we paid, I think we have made about £18 on those because weren't they £15 those? Yeah, I think it was, but I didn't see the damage on the bottom, Yeah, we didn't see the damage, unfortunately. But we've still got profit, it's okay. Club of Comfort trousers here, they were 34 over 32. These have gone for £20, so after fees and what we paid, we have made about £12 on those. We've got a Marshall Artist jacket in a size large, red, purple, maroon coat from the 2000s, Y2K. This has gone for £18.99, so after fees and everything, we'll have made about 12 on that. Right, Harry Brown. Oh, that's this one. So we've got a Harry Brown jacket here. Again, it's in the bag. I apologise, guys. 3XL. It is just basically a winter coat. It's black and it's made of nylon. £32 we got for that. So after fees and everything, we've made about 25 on that. We've got this Nike dry fit ladies um, top in a size medium, which I did not want to list. So Rob listed it. £9.49 we got for that. So after fees and everything, we made about £2 on that. We have a Gildan t-shirt, Rowan, Rowan University. Um, this has gone for £5.60. So after fees and everything, we haven't made much at all. Probably about £2 on that one. 
Um, you haven't got the... Oh, it's just the glasses. Yeah, I'm bottle. getting confused. The bottle is not included. Yeah. I hope the didn't make that mistake. Let's hope the bottle of whiskey <laughs> doesn't bite us in the butt. We've got a picture of these with the bottle of whiskey next to it on the uh, picture. But we have it does say on the listing, bottle not for whiskey not included. But anyway, we've got two um, Jameson whiskey glasses. They've gone for 9 99 They were ours, so the cost us nothing. Um, so after postage and fees, we've made about £6 on those. Back over here to the Thomas Pink share. This was fun. Um, we couldn't find this. We've we've literally just sorted out our Rob's boxes, so they're all numbered, and we've done a list of where everything is. Um, and we couldn't find this shirt anywhere. Luckily, we found it. It was in a different box to what we thought. Five fifteen pound fifty for this. Uh, after fees and what we paid, we've made about ten pound on that. We've got this really long, lovely medium Bodner Elm coat. It's wool cashmere. That has gone for £23.75. So after fees and everything and what we paid, we've made about £11 on that. I think that is everything. Yes, it is. I managed to do it without even taking a breath. Amazing. Right, guys, I'm going to get these parceled up now. So wish me luck, send help and um, pray for me because I need it. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know in the comments what you think and I will see you on the next one. Take care, be kind, stay safe. Merry Christmas. Mwah. Bye.